everyone, it's Carla here from Paint Me Vintage in Tauranga where we paint furniture and have everything that you need um, to paint furniture yourself as well. So I am just doing a really big transfer today and I had a request for some people to show them how to do it. Um, so what I'm using is this IOD one, it's super cute, it's called Floral Treasures um, and you can tell by the box that it is a really really big one so this may take a little while so that's what we're using and a transfer essentially I'll just hold it up so you can see it so pretty big it is um, it's an image that is on a um, I'll just go back here so you can see me it's an image that is on a plastic sheet and it has a backing sheet and you rub it off the top sheet onto your painted piece so um, I've just got this one to help me peg together um, because it's really, really adhesive. So I just thought um, I'll just give you a few tips along the way. Now you can hopefully, if it comes apart, see there, see that's the wax paper and that bit there is the clear bit, which you don't want to touch, um, with your image on it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've got this old um, picture. So it was one of those old pictures with no um, frames in it. Um, no frames. With no glass in it. And I've just painted over it. And we've actually been trying out um, some new paints here recently. And this uh, colour escapes me. But it is a really, really pretty light blue colour. And this is just one coat with this paint that we've been trying out. And so we really, really like it. Um, so it's quite different to the paints that we have been using previously um, and this is a true chalk paint which means it is porous um, I wonder if I can just move this a bit so you can see me it means that it's porous and it's quite dusty um, so I have painted given it a light sand left a little bit of texture because I want that on there and then I have with um, with a damp cloth gone over the piece which i might just do again to try and pick up any dust particles and the reason for that is when you're using a transfer they really really do not like dust on their adhesive it'll stop them from sticking because they've got that adhesive on the back so you have to make sure that your piece is as dust free as possible and also that top piece of adhesive paper you don't want that to stick to anything either hence why on this big one and on other big ones that I do I kind of put a few pegs around it um, at this stage while I'm getting it in pos position just in case the top sheet rolls off the wax bottom sheet and then it tries to stick to something so we don't want that to happen so my piece is completely dry it's nice and dust free now this transfer was I don't know, a couple of centimetres bigger than what it is now. I've actually trimmed it down just a little bit, which you can easily do because I want it to fit inside my frame. And you can see it is really huge. It is. It must be like, I don't know, nearly a metre long. So I'm just going to have a look here now. And it fits just within my frame, which is fabulous. So I'm going to take my pegs off which will just help me along and I'm going to get some tape and I'm going to tape it into place so that I can then take that backing paper off um, and it's not going to go anywhere because I don't want it to move so I've just got some low tech painters tape here I'm going to take a bit off of that I'll get her nicely in position and tape her right down exactly where I want her. And this one is pretty precise because it only fits inside my frame, so I really do not want it to move at all. And I'm using low tack tape because um, obviously my piece is freshly painted and I don't want... Um, that tape to lift any of any of my fresh paint so I've taped it into position there so once you've got it in position worked out um, 
it's exactly where you want. You need to carefully take that backing paper off. Um, and and you need to carefully do that because if your top piece um, touches anything, it could adhere to it and you won't have time to um, move it. So, hopefully going live, it doesn't go crazy out of control. I'm just going to pick this up. tricky this is. Just take my backing paper off and I don't want to. Hopefully I can get it. It's just it is. I might just not feel it too. So let's lay that back down really gently. Always on a live, isn't it? Um, so I think I have stuck some of my backing paper up the top there. So what I might do, we'll start at the other end. Okay, we'll take this end down. And we'll do it that way. I think what's happened is at the very top, my um, backing paper is poking through and so when I've taped it down it has adhered the backing paper to my piece which I don't want to happen because I want to be able to take that off super easily so these bigger ones are a little trickier so you kind of just got to go with the flow do it as best you can and just take your time so take that off and now you can see that is really centered that's my backing paper which is great I do not want this to touch itself into place and tack it down and you can actually feel it it's adhering as soon as I kind of wipe it down with my hand so these ones are in one big sheet and I have actually messed up a tiny bit there but what I'm actually doing with this frame is I'm going to be giving it a bit more of a, um, a weathered look around the edge. So I can just weather that middle bit in to look the same as well. Right, in the pack you get this stick. And you simply are rubbing the transfer off the top shiny paper onto your piece underneath and sometimes they take lots and lots of rubbing and sometimes they don't take much at all so it really really depends on the weather how warm or how cold it is where you are, where you're doing it. Make sure you don't do it in front of a, um, a windy window or windy door because you don't want any dust. I can take that tape off now too. Don't want any dust flying in. Um, and sticking to to your transfer either. and I have had that happen <laughs> and because this is such a huge one I am at the moment just using the side of my of 
off my little stick. So I'll see if I can pick up a little quarter of it. And this is a way that you kind of test to see if it's adhering or not. Oops. Because this is in a frame, it is a little tricky. So it is adhering actually really, really easily, which is great. And you can see, I'm just gonna keep pulling that up. Okay, and if there's any little bits that aren't sticking down, I'm going to go over it with my stick a little, a little more. And the transfers don't end up shiny. The shiny is the, um, is this top, this top coat. And this particular transfer, this is an Iron Orchid design one. It's actually quite weathered and distressed already. Um, and I thought too that I would play around and make it even more weathered and distressed. Whoops. Um, and use the crackle stamp, which is a stamp that can make crackle and put some crackle over it as well. So it's going to be really fun. And getting my paint down and then my image down are just kind of the first things to do. And because this is a picture frame, the, um, the paper is kind of stick underneath the frame bit. So um, the big transfers obviously are the hardest to do, only because they're a little unwieldy. Um, and um, they're just a little harder um, to manage. It's a good idea to start maybe with a small one. Um, but they all use exactly the same process. Just using pressure. So it's super easy and you can do like paint effects behind them. I've done blue through this so you know some of that is going to show through the um, transfer because the transfer is quite transparent. Um, and you can do paint effects over the top of it, you can do all sorts of things. not too cold here right at the moment so what happens if it's too warm is the adhesive on them gets like really sticky and they're a little harder to do. I successfully have done these on lots of mirrors as well and they look really effective on those. Sure, if you can see there a little bit isn't coming up. Just push that back down. Just give that a bit more of a rub. So that is all the top coat off. Now I'm just going to go over 
my hands are nice and clean so you should always do this even if you're doing a small one or a big one and just make sure you haven't got any bits sticking up just make sure it's in, it's sticking down really nicely and so yeah you can do paint ink all sorts of things over the top of this if you want If you have an ear bubble you can pop it or just push it out with your hand just make sure your hands are nice and clean because the transfers are actually pretty fragile until they're stuck down right so i'll pull that up so you can see it it's pretty huge <laughs> as you can see because i am standing next to it here so there you go it's super big you can see here that's my little mess up but because it's such a distressed look I wonder if you can see those lines and everything I'm just going to make that piece part of the whole um, whole display and all tie it into in with my frame as well um, and this one looks like a big piece out of a book so it's really cool um, it's going to look gorgeous on a wall and I'm going to add, as I said, extra distressing bits, some waxes and some aging to it as well. So I hope that was helpful um, and um, might even give you a bit of inspiration to try one yourself because they are really, really effective, look lovely on bits of furniture um, or in frames and things like that as well. And um, yeah, we love using them here. So yeah, give it a go.